We're starting a website called Keen for Short Kids Environmental Action Network, and we also work for the Rahus Institute. Well, my name is Melissa, and I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm with the Michigan Solar House team. What is your career or future career? Well, I just graduated from the University of Michigan in May, and I studied architecture at the school for two years, and so now I'm working at an architecture firm in Ann Arbor called David Milling & Associates Architects, and we work on mainly libraries. I have an interesting career because I'm a double major of biomedical engineering and medical lab science. And I do have one goal, which is to find a cure for cancer and AIDS. So I plan on being uh, a clinical um, laboratorist, basically living in a lab, finding cures for diseases and stuff. Um, I'm actually a marketing major, so I just like to advertise or help people make good decisions or be happy with whatever they're buying or selling or anything like that. So. Well, we're studying mechanical engineering, um, so when we graduate, um, we'll go out in the industry and um, be mechanical engineers. Um, me in particular, um, I'll be working in uh, Procter & Gamble in research and development. And um, uh, <laughs> I will be uh, doing my master's. I will be continuing studying. What is your future career? Uh, well, I sort of envision myself working uh, with the inverters and charge controllers. Uh, my background is electrical engineering and I kind of like power electronics. What materials do you need to build a solar home? You need a lot of materials and a lot of it is a user's preference. But you can see on our house, we have a lot of solar panels. We have 32 solar panels and we have two solar thermal panels and those are right there. They're long tubes. You also need a lot of batteries and you need efficient materials so that you're not wasting energy and you're collecting all that you can from the sun. First and foremost, you need solar panels. Those are what collect the power from the sun and then you need a way of uh, storing that power, either in batteries or in the utility grid. You also need a house, which uh, could could be built from any number of materials. Uh, the, t the teams here have all chosen a, a wonderful range from uh, hard panels made from recycled materials, to wood frames with uh, foam uh, insulation, to metal chassis, um, interesting windows. And then you also need those collectors over there which convert the sun's energy into um, hot water. And um, besides that, you need all kinds of electrical equipment to, to make sure that the sun's energy is um, converted correctly into electricity. Um, but besides that, everything inside the house is um, basically how a normal house would be. How can solar homes help the global warming problem? Well, uh, by Reducing our dependence on fossil fuel-based power, um, we will be releasing fewer and fewer uh, greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. That's one way. Uh, and also by encouraging people to live more thriftfully and um, energy um, efficiently, that, that'll also help. Right now we use energy and we don't use it efficiently at all and there's a limited amount. So we chose to, use it, to build a solar home to use a resource that we have plenty of and that's the sun. Because you know the sun is out every day and it doesn't matter if it's cloudy or if it's sunny, we're still getting energy into our panels from the sun. So it's more efficient to use that energy, that way we don't run out someday. By adding more of these panels you're basically reducing the global warming problem um, little by little. How will you use knowledge from this project in the future? First we're going to build another one for the next competitions. But then after that it'll help you like when I have a house or anyone else I know buys a house it helps you know what to use in your house and we use a lot of materials that are better for the environment. We know how to build a house now so we can fix things. We're a little more handy and we know how to make our house safer for the environment. And then helping somebody who doesn't know how to build a house or how to how to um, develop their house from the beginning. Or when you grow up and, and be a professional 
um, you're going to have to work with all kinds of different people and in school that's something they don't teach you. Um, that's something that, um, as far as we're concerned, we've learned um, how to do. I think I'll use what I learned here to be an effective designer of renewable energy systems. What's been your favorite part of this project? <laughs> well, uh, that have been the, the design part because this is an <coughs> interdisciplinary competition. And we, have the, we had the opportunity of working with not only mechanical engineers, but architects and civil engineers, uh, people from business administration, and a lot of people that have different point of views and different ideas. My favorite part is working with friends and working with people and learning. I've learned so much and I understand about energy and solar panels and the environment and what people need so much better. Well, I have two. My favorite part is building the house, but it was also coming here. I mean, building the house is a lot of fun and it's a lot of hard work and you don't really think you can build a house. So between all of us, I think that's pretty amazing that we built a house ourselves from the ground up, but also just being here, we got to bring it to Washington, D.C. I would definitely say my favorite part of this was getting to know people through building because we spent, basically we woke up around 8 o'clock and we were at the site from 9 till about 4 building. And we did get hurt and we learned a lot of stuff like about construction. And I would have never thought that I'll be able to hammer nails into wood to build a house. So it was quite interesting. Uh, building the house and seeing it uh, come come to fruition after working on it for a year, slaving over, slaving over design and, and then getting to show it to the public. So I guess yeah, it's the whole thing. All of it's been a lot of fun. Talking to you, actually. Definitely highlight. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck with your website. Thank you. The big thing. Nice Ah, can we jump? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs>